Hi friends, I'm Holly from Stampin' Up! and today I'm going to give you some tips for stamping on fabric like this sample from our 2013-2014 catalog. Now to get these bright, vibrant colors, we've used acrylic paints instead of ink. Now you can use Stampin' Up! Classic inks to stamp on fabric like we've done with this sample here, but you can see the ink gives you a much different look than when you're using the paint. So today we're going to be using acrylic paints and you can find acrylic paints at your local craft store. Now I recommend bringing swatches of cardstock with you so you can find paints that coordinate with our Stampin' Up! color palette. And then you'll be able to add embellishments like we've done on the towel with our Tangerine Tango ribbon and then also with our stamped tag. So once you have your colors ready to go, you can use a paint tray like I've done here or you can also use a Playcon box to work with your paints as well. Now you can stamp on a variety of different fabrics, but you want to make sure that you're using something with a pretty tight fiber, like the cotton tea towel I have here, or the muslin bag I showed you a little bit earlier. Now it's not going to work very well if your fabric is fuzzy, that's going to get the fuzz on the paint. So we're all ready to go here, I have a squirt of paint in my tray, and then I'm just going to use my sponge dauber to apply that to my stamp. So get your sponge dauber. If you get a little bit too much paint on your sponge dauber, don't worry about it, just daub it off on your tray or your surface there. And then just take that dauber and add paint directly to the stamp. Now you want to make sure your stamp is pretty well saturated, but you don't want so much on there that the paint is pooling. So you don't want pools of paint, but just so that's well saturated. Okay. And then when that's ready to go, you can just stamp directly on your fabric. Now you're going to want to hold it there for a minute just to let that paint absorb. And you might want to buy one or two towels, whatever you're stamping on, so that you have one to practice with because different fabrics are going to absorb the paint in different ways. So here you can see that worked out pretty well. Now this acrylic paint is going to dry pretty quickly, but you're still going to want to heat set it with your heat tool. Now again, different fabrics are going to behave differently, but I was able to run this through the washer after I was done stamping on it and heat setting it and it didn't affect the paint at all. Okay, so for the accent color for our leaves, instead of trying to find a matching color, all you need is a little bit of brown. And we're just going to add a little bit, of, a dab of brown paint directly to our orange, and then we're going to mix that in. So that's going to give us a color that's similar to our base color we've already used, but just a little bit darker. So you're not going to have to worry about whether or not that's going to coordinate with the orange we've already used. And I use the same technique on all of the leaves we've done, so with the green and the red and that gray color also. Okay, so just mix that in. Again, stop that off if you get a little bit too much on, and then just apply that directly to your stamp. Not so much that the paint is pooling, but that it's pretty well saturated and covered. Okay, then I've got my Stampamajig ready here. And I've just stamped um, with regular ink, because that's upside down, on my Stampamajig to get that all lined up. And then just apply that directly to the fabric. And again, you're going to want to hold that there for a minute just to let that paint absorb into the fabric. There we go. And then when you're done, you can heat set that with your heat tool. Now these acrylic paints do dry quickly, so you're going to need to clean your stamps as soon as you can. And Stampin' Mist works really well to clean the acrylic, so even if you wait until the paint has dried, you should still be able to get them clean with a combination of Stampin' Mist and elbow grease. And then you can finish off your project with some ribbon and a hand stamp tag, like we've done here. And that's really all there is to it. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you soon.